Hello and welcome to today's Merriam-Webster synonyms and antonyms. Let's get started with today we have day number 17. All right, first off on our list is this word called guts. And yes, it is guts. You go ahead and do everything guts-wise. All right, so here we get words like, of course, a synonym is fortitude, and the antonym to this is gutlessness. All right, next up, we have fragile. Fragile synonym is frangible, and the antonym to that is durable. Because, like, fragile it just means you're really easy to break. Like, this isn't fragile. This is pretty durable. See? Just fixed up right there. Uh, next up, we have fragrance. Fragrance just basically means like nice smells. Like perfume has nice fragrance. And of course, the antonym is stench. All right. Next up, we have candid. Candid just is like the synonym of frank, and the antonym is evasive. And it's evasive. That just basically means you're moving around. However, uh, candid just basically means you're out in the open saying, "I'm right here. Shoot me." Those kinds of things, um, which you definitely don't want to do during a war if you're. If you're the only one left, or you've seen too many things, then maybe, but if you want to save your country, then don't you do that. Next up, we have Manumit. Manumit, the synonym is just emancipate, and of course the antonym to this is enslave. When you're emancipating something, that's pretty great, you're just liberating that thing. And when you're enslaving someone, well, that's terrible. Don't you even think about that. Our sixth word is liberty. Liberty just basically means freedom, and apparently that's the synonym to it. Uh, yeah, synonyms literally just mean whatever they are synonyms to. Gosh, man, gosh. All right. Of course, it actually just basically means you're freeing someone, which actually kind of makes sense for freedom to be the synonym. And the antidote to this is restraint. When you're restraining something, that just basically means you're putting him down. Next up, we have frustrate. Frustrate just basically means you're thwarting someone, like the synonym to thwart, and you're the antonym to fulfill. And of course, the antonym is fulfill, as I already mentioned, and I'm going to say it again. Our eighth word is full. Full to fix me completely, and I've eaten a lot of ramen last night, so I'm really very full. 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 I don't have a stomach, so. Alright, and of course, the antonym is empty. Our ninth word is jest. Jest just basically means you're having, you're, you're sporty, you're pretty great, and you're having a nice time. Of course, the antonym is earnest. Next up, we have abortive, and the synonym to this is bootless, and the antonym is consummated. And that's pretty much it. So, hopefully, you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys soon in the next one. Until next time, you're out. Peace. Bye bye! Wear a helmet!